Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be a caterpillar corner video. <laughs> so guys if you don't know what caterpillar corner is, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you don't because I only did one video and it was at like the end of one of my wrap up videos a couple months ago and I said I wanted to start doing this video where we're going to talk about the books that I've been reading to Claire recently and what she's been liking, what she hasn't been liking, just something quick and simple that I wanted to do with her that I can have her involved in with my videos it's not like she don't be in my other videos anyway but I started something really nice because you don't see too many videos on booktube where you know parents are talking about like the books they've been reading to their children and how they respond so I just thought that was kind of cute and I think I thought you know let's do it so if y'all don't know this is Kalea hey, hi Kalea Kalea he's looking out the window right now I can say hi tell everybody hi <laughs> yeah. Okay, so she's eight months old, almost nine months. She'll be nine months on the 22nd, September 22nd. She'll be nine months old, so my little baby's getting out of the way so fast. And she's just growing so much. And I just, I don't know what the time is going, but that's not what this video is about. I can, you know, deal with my heartache later. But the most recent book that Kalil, that we read was, and it's not last night, night before last, we read Are You My Mother by P.D. Eastman. It's a bright and early board book. And I love this book. I've talked about this book before. I, I, I love this book so much. This is one of my favorite like, kids books. That's why I had to get it for because it's just too cute. It's really cute. If y'all don't know, it's about this little baby bird right here. He gets uh, misplaced from his mother and he's trying to find his mother. So he goes and asks every animal, Are You My Mother? Because when his mother left, he was still in the egg. So when he popped out, she wasn't there. So he didn't know. So, oh my gosh, guys, this book is just so cute and it's amazing. Claire loves this book. She really likes to eat this book. You know it. Even after we read it, she has to hold it and she wants to be involved in it. She wants to sit here and flip the pages or she'll have a fit if I don't let her. The next book that I want to talk about is the most, the most recent bought book that we have for Claire. And that is The Ants Go Marching. It's a count and sing book by Priscilla Boris. It's pretty much just singing a song, the ants go marching one by one, blah blah blah. It only goes up to number five, but it's supposed to help, you know, babies learn how to count one to five, which, I mean, I'm not trying to push her early. I just thought this was really cute because I like that song too. And actually, her dad actually picked this book out for her. I didn't pick it out. He picked it out. We was in like a uh, Learning Express that is like a kid's store, but it's not just toys, like educational stuff in there too. And we was just looking around because it was our first time being in there. And he just, he picked this book out. And he read it to her for the first time. So, he was very excited. But, um, she really enjoys this book too. I don't know if it's just because of the pictures in it or the raindrops in the book. You can actually kind of feel the raindrops. You, it's nothing else. It's textured, just the raindrops. So, I don't know if it's the colors or what it is that makes her interested in this book. But, she likes this book and I guess it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Anything you want to say about that? Okay. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, and the last book that I'm going to talk about is actually on my Kindle. It's a book that I got off of Amazon for her because it was free. It was like one of those things that you get with Prime. And it is, I think it's Honestly Little Red Riding Hood. No, Honestly Red Riding Hood was rotten. Little Red Riding Hood told by the wolf. So it was really, it was funny to me. And I think I was more interested in the book than she was. I guess it was more funny to me because, you know, I know the story of a regular Little Red Riding Hood. Folks. So for the wolf to come and tell his side of the story, it was too much for me. But I enjoyed it. It was free. She didn't really get a kick out of it. She was just like, okay, whatever. It wasn't really something that she was into, so I'm glad I got it for free and didn't pay for it, and that wouldn't have been the book that she really wanted to deal with. I think I would have been a little heartbroken and kind of mad because <laughs> I spent money on a book that she doesn't like, and we all know how that is, so that didn't happen. But um, yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk about in this video. Nothing too complex, nothing too you know difficult, just something real quick and simple. Just to get it out of the way. Oh, you guys, she has a tooth. My baby got her first tooth. 
Is that the, she's not gonna let me show you. I know she's not. But she got a she got her first two at the bottom, and I'm just like so proud of her. And it, it kind of makes me it kind of hurts my heart too. Come like, oh my god, you get teeth. You're really growing up now. Like it's you're not just a little baby anymore. You're really growing up. And I feel like it was just yesterday. I was introducing her to you guys for the first time. And she was making noise. So I'm just proud of her moment, you guys. Like, yeah. But yeah, that's everything. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Look, you gotta blow my kiss. Go. Mm -hmm. <laughs>